This is News 25 with Deanna O'Donnell and Stacy Jensen. News 25, local news you can count on. News is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Give them a call, 727-9900. News is also brought to you by Desert View Hospital. You can count on us. Welcome to News 25 here on KPVMT and Ace Country Radio. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Stacey Jensen. It is Friday, December 2nd. Well, Captain David Brookwitz and Nye County Animal Control have saved another animal last night, this time a burrow caught in a mine. Thursday afternoon at approximately 1 p.m., the Nye County Sheriff's Office received a report of a wild burrow trapped in a hole in a mine shaft in the mountains outside of Rhyolite in central Nye County. This had been discovered by a hiker, according to police. Captain David Barukowitz with the Nye County Sheriff's Office led a rescue team with a deputy and two animal control officers. Upon arrival, they say they discovered the mine tunnel entrance was at the top of a mountain range and would be difficult to reach with any vehicle. Rescuers traveled through rough terrain on foot to reach that mine. Upon arriving, the team discovered that the burrow had gone into an old mine tunnel and had fallen into a 10-foot hole. Responders were able to get a rope around the burrow, get it turned around, and verify that it was in good condition other than being hungry and dehydrated. The Beatty Fire Department was contacted and joined the rescue efforts with the equipment to assist in the rescue efforts of the animal. The rescue team spent several hours getting the burrow out of the mine and ultimately were successful just before 6 p.m. on Thursday night. Once freed, the burrow took off running and appeared to be unhurt. Efforts will be made to secure this entrance to the tunnel to the mine shaft to avoid any more unfortunate mishaps. Thank you to Captain David Brokowitz, the Nye County Sheriff's Office, Nye County Animal Control, and Beatty Fire Department. An emergency crews responded to a two-vehicle crash today on the highway. One person was transported via Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue Ground Ambulance to Desert View Hospital as a result of a two-vehicle T-bone type collision this afternoon on Highway 160 and Loop Road. Nevada Highway Patrol, Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies, Nye County Sheriff's Office auxiliary units, and Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue arrived on scene. Traffic was diverted around the crash site during the investigation and cleanup of the crash. And emergency crews are currently on the corner of Basin and Highway 160 at a two-vehicle crash that one person is mechanically entrapped. There are injuries as a result of this crash. Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies and auxiliaries are directing traffic around the scene while Nevada Highway Patrol is conducting that accident investigation. We'll have more on that on tomorrow night's broadcast. And, of course, you can see any up-to-date and breaking news on our KPVM Facebook page. Well, a man arrested in October for a stabbing on the Las Vegas Strip that killed two people and wounded six others has now been found unfit for trial. The state court and the judge has ruled that for Yanni Christian Barrios, who's 32, he is going to remain indefinitely at a state psychiatric facility until the doctors can determine that he can understand the criminal charges that are brought against him. He was, if he is found competent, Barrios faces two counts of murder and six counts of attempted murder in that attack, which killed two individuals. One is 30 years old and the other one 46. Authorities say Barrios asked these individuals who were described as side sidewalk showgirls to pose for him in a photo before wielding a large chef's knife outside the Wynn Las Vegas Resort. And News 25 will return right after this break. You're watching News 25, the most recognized and farthest reaching local news in Nye County. News 25, local news you can count on. And welcome back. A local man was arrested for an outstanding warrant as well as possessing uh, drugs at, during a traffic stop after he reportedly ran from officers. On September 17th, Nye County Sheriff's deputies were traveling eastbound on Mance Road, west of Hafen Ranch Road, when they saw a white two-door Geo Metro allegedly failing to stop at the stop sign. 
According to the declaration of arrest, the Geo Metro continued eastbound after failing to yield. Officers say they conducted a traffic stop on that vehicle just west of Highway 160. Police conducted a records check on the occupants of the vehicle and identified that a passenger, Ronald Creamer, reportedly had two local warrants out of Nye County. At that time, deputies advised Creamer to step out of the vehicle, at which time they report Creamer allegedly began running south through the desert away from police. Deputies caught up with Creamer in the desert and placed him in custody. According to the report, when Creamer was searched, officers discovered a large knife, a white crystal-like substance, and a glass pipe with white residue, later identified as methamphetamine, and weighed approximately one gram. Creamer was arrested for resisting a public officer, possessing drug paraphernalia, sell and or transmitting a controlled substance less than 14 grams, possessing a controlled substance. Ronald Creamer was booked into the Nye County Detention Center. Well, what is a sand volcano? Well, that's something that we want to know and a property owner in a Shawnee Ridge recently found out. A property owner who recently purchased 1.87 acres of land on a Shawnee Ridge court is now facing issues with the soil on the property he wants to build a home on. Subdivision was originally Bowling Green Acres subdivision when we first started subdividing it back in the day. When we had the soils reports done for that subdivision, the, I, the area where the park is now was identified as a sand volcano. And I just, I'm saying this because I don't know if the applicant has done his due diligence as far as soils reports are concerned. Um, it was classified as unbuildable at that point. So it might still be that way. So he might need to do his due diligence before actually wanting to spend a whole lot of money in developing plans to build a house there. And what, what a sand volcano for any, everybody to know is whenever sediment under the ground is encountered with water that is trying to go artesian, it literally pushes the sand up out of the ground. And Mr. Bowling would know because his family owned Bowling Green Acres. KPVM News 25 caught up with KPVM News 25, spoke with the Nye County Director of Planning, Brett Wagner, who said that the property owner would have to get a soil report before obtaining a building permit because of the possibility of the ground swelling from the sand volcano. And they would have to determine the type of foundation and pad on the property, if approved. The agenda item was rewritten from residential estate zoning to suburban estate zoning, which would not allow livestock. And if you have talent or would like to watch some local talent, the Youth Talent Show is happening soon. We are a part of the Pahrump um, youth Theater Group. We're actually going to be um, hosting for uh, the Pahrump Community Talent Show coming up. It's on December 16th at 7 and the doors open at 6.30. Um, it is going to be at the Pahrump Valley High School in the auditorium. The If you would like to buy tickets, they are $8 each or $25 for families of four or more. We are looking for all varieties of talent and we are hoping we'd like you guys to be a part of it. So it can be any ages, it, whatever you want to do, just make sure it's family appropriate. Uh, the deadline will be December 2nd, this com upcoming Friday. There will be a silent auction there. You will be able to submit artwork and about halfway through the talent show, you will be able to then bid on that artwork. You should be able to go to the Pahrump Art Council's website and uh, do it from there. Anything you'd like as long as it's nice and family friendly and kind and we're mainly hoping for stuff that involves the holiday spirit, stuff like Christmas and other uh, things around that. All right, well, you know, there's going to be some toy drives coming up, and one of them is the second annual. We're going to tell you about that right after this break. You're watching News 25, brought to you by Mountain West Lawyer, Injury Attorneys, 727-9500. Also brought to you by Silver State Health. Visit silverstatehealth.org or call 702-471-0420 for an appointment. News 25, local news you can count on. 
Well, our local firefighter union is having a tour drive, and firefighter Rebellis says that the holidays are a season for giving, and this is another way for your firefighters to give back to our community with an annual toy drive. So the toy drive I'm doing, I'm planning on doing it every year. I did it last year. I'm bringing it back, but only this time I'm doing it three days instead of one. So it's going to be in front of Walmart. We're going to have a big fire engine there, and we're going to fill that truck up with toys first three Sundays of December. So I'm doing it again for a local charity called uh, No to Abuse and Nevada Outreach, uh, and I'm doing it for them because they do a really good job at giving, making sure all the toys stay local and go back to all the boys and girls here in Pahrump. They are a nonprofit here in town that um, represents uh, victims of domestic abuse, domestic battery, and uh, also uh, families in need that, of the lower income uh, population. And all the toys they give uh, they give back to um, people only in that population. So they have people they have a system going where um, they have days where they hand out the toys and they have people come in and show their local Pahrump uh, their local Nevada ID. And as long as it has a Pahrump address, uh, they're allowed to go in and collect toys. And a lot of them are usually uh, their clients that they serve. And these clients are usually uh, uh, lower income families that need help and that are victims of domestic uh, domestic violence, like single moms, single parents. Next three Sundays. Days, you're going to see a big red fire engine in front of Walmart. Come say hi, come help us fill the truck and give back to the boys and girls of Pahrump. So some of the most needed items are definitely items for teenagers that kind of help inspiring, uh, inspire them to stay outside, learn new trades, and uh, keep their bodies and their minds active. So like workout equipment, uh, makeup kits for girls, and then we're also going to have a list of uh, a list of suggestions that we'll be that we'll be handing out to people as they come in that want to donate that have. Um, um, lists of items that they can pick out to make it easy and bring back to the fire truck. We're here to make it easy for everybody and we're also going to have fun with everyone doing it. So we're going to be there from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. December 4th, 11th and 18th. See you all there. Merry Christmas everyone. And it's time to check in with Never Forgotten Animal Society as we meet a sweet little girl named Dee. Today's Save a Pet segment is made possible by Realty Executives in Action. Put the team at Realty Executives in action for you. Hi everyone, this is Pat with Never Forgotten Animal Society. In my arms is a very loving, sweet little girl by the name of Dee. Dee is about a year old. She's a, a long-haired um, domestic cat. She's got beautiful, beautiful yellow eyes. And she is a love. She just loves being with everybody and being held and being involved. And she is... Um, $95 is our adoption fee. She includes her spay, also all of her shots, uh, rabies certificate, and microchip. So if you're interested in Dee, she is here at the shelter. No appointment is necessary. We are open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5 every day. And uh, she is available, no appointment necessary. So come on in if you're in the area. She is a gray hair, um, long haired cat. And she's going to require a little bit of maintenance because of the long hair. Um, which would require just a little bit of brushing every now and then. But you can see she's very, very mellow, very, very sweet girl, and she just loves being held and being cuddled. So if you need somebody in your lap, this is the girl for you, and her name is Dee. And she is available. Our number is 775-537-8674. We are open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5 every day. No appointment necessary, so please come on in. And when you come on in, come on in and take advantage of our new 2023 calendar. It's just now out. It is $20. All proceeds go towards the care of the animals that we have in our facility. And um, we have uh, 500 of these. So if you have any friends, frenemies, or anyone else that what you think would, could use a, a calendar, we highly uh, would uh, like you to come by and see us. We're also going to be at the Business Expo at Saddle West this coming Saturday, December 3rd, um, and these calendars will be available at that event as well. So if you're interested, give us a call, 775-537-8674, and we're open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5 every day. So come on, CD. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Learner and Rowe Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. Can't wait to see what our weekend weather is going to be like. Uh, I hope it's no more wind. John's going to give us a full update on the weather forecast for the next week. Coming up right after this.
News 25 weather is brought to you by Dairy Council of Nevada. The splash of cream in your coffee, the dollop of sour cream on your burrito, the melted toasty cheese on your pizza. Undeniably delicious, undeniably dairy. Enjoy what's real. Hi, good evening, Nevada. It's John Kohler from the KPVM Channel 24 Weather Studios. It's a Friday. We're feeling good. Weekend's looking beautiful. And today, pretty cool up and down the state. Look at Fernley, 39 degrees, 38 out in Fallon. Carson City, the cool spot by a mile, like 5 degrees, 33 degrees. Barely got out of freezing temperatures all day long. Poor you. Out in Tonopah, 40 degrees. Weather Twins with Goldfield. Beatty saw 55, 58 out there in Amargosa. And the hot spot, Las Vegas. Oh, perfect. Out in Death Valley. Pretty nice, 70 degrees, but here in the Paradise of Brump, let's take a look. 54, that's our current temperature, and it was up to 59 just a little bit earlier. I think we took number two in the state. Number two tries harder, don't you know? Winds out of the south-southeast all day long, starting at 637 when the sun rose. Sun set just a midge ago, about 428 p.m. Looks like we gave up another couple minutes of daylight as we head towards solstice on the 21st. A low tonight, look for it about 43 degrees, and a beautiful sunset under cloudy skies. Look at that humidity, 62%. Should there be clouds tomorrow? You bet there is, and for the rest of the week. But no real talk of rain, about a 13% chance, uh, maybe total, all before the next four or five days. So we might see a little sprinkle here and there, but basically temperatures staying about 65 over the weekend, dropping down to uh, 58 on Monday. There's going to be a little bit of wind, and that'll dissipate the rest of the week. Seven mile per hour winds, temperatures in the mid 50s, sunshine even Thursday and Friday. How much better can it get than that? All right, so make your plans. Have a good weekend. And we'll see you on Monday. Back to the desk. Here's Deanna. All right. Well, we got a couple of different fundraisers yeah. that are happening. And uh, we are um, starting this weekend. Tonight at the Hub at 7 p.m., there's a karaoke uh, contest happening there. And that is going to be happening to benefit April Hutchinson for the final uh, expenses for Jonathan. And they also have a blackjack tournament that is happening at 5280. And that's going to actually be happening tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. And that's from 5 until 9 p.m. And everybody's invited to come on down to that. I hear there's going to be karaoke as well. But all different kinds of fundraisers, giveaways, raffles at both of these events tonight, starting at 7 p.m. at the Hub tomorrow at 5280 Mexican Grill. That is on Mesquite Avenue. The hub is on Bell Vista. And uh, of course, we have these posted on our KPVM Facebook page. Right. For anybody who has more um, information there or need more information, of course, they can message us on our KPVM Facebook page. Or they can stop by the hub tonight at 7 p.m. or tomorrow night, 5280 Mexican Grub on Mesquite Avenue to find out more about what's happening there with all these fundraisers. They can also donate. Next weekend, uh, Bearded Lady is going to be having one and we're going to help out as much as we can. Yep, and it's going to all be on our Facebook page if you missed any of that. So again, follow up and just let us know. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Stacy Jensen. Good night. Good night.